what's up guys welcome to the channel so imagine a scenario where you've just bought this new ai called random trades uh you've read good reviews about it you've seen a lot of people making money and uh you don't want to be left behind so you've just bought the ea and uh instead of uh, setting up the ea on your laptop where you'll have to leave your laptop on 24 7 uh you've also watched this video here about setting up your own free VPS and uh, after following the tutorial you already have your setup here so you have everything set up and uh, the EA is working well so now you're just waiting for the money to start flooding in so one day you've left your laptop at home and uh, you log into your account and uh, you realize something weird is going on so the ea just starts setting up random trades out of nowhere so you do what anyone would do you start closing the trades and uh, you wait to get home so that you can log into your VPS and uh, remove the EA, the faulty EA. But you realize that no matter how many trades you close, the EA keeps opening new ones. And uh, by the time you get home, your account will already be blown. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! So what? can you do to remove the EA from the VPS so that is what we're going to be looking at in this episode we'll be connecting the VPS direct from the phone so first just log into your AWS console and once you're here go to EC2 instances and uh, this is the VPS that we're going to be connecting to. So once you're here, just go to your phone, play store, and search for remote desktop. So if you can't find this specific app in your search, it's probably because it's not compatible with the device. This app requires Android 9 and above. So another thing to note is you should be downloading an app by Microsoft. There are many other remote desktops out there, but this is what we're going to be using. So once it's done, just open the app. And uh, once we're here, let's go back to our laptop. Copy this public DNS. And uh, we need to send it to our phone somehow. So I'm going to use email. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to send the public DNS to myself. And since the email is already logged in with my phone, I'm going to find the email there. So I'm just going to go to my email and uh, copy whatever I've sent myself. So let's just take a look at what I've actually copied. Let me just paste it. And you see there's additional HTTP, whatever, that we don't need. So I'm just going to cut that out. I just need exactly what is on my laptop. So just go to your app, click add, add PC, and add manually. And in the PC name, that is where we're going to be pasting the public DNS. And once you've done that, click on the user account that appears. We'll just wait for it to connect. 
and uh, the next thing that we need is the username and the password both of which we'll get from the laptop so i'm going to go back to my laptop copy the username and uh, same process going to the email i'm going to be sending it to myself pasting the username there and uh, let's get the password uh, click on get password and here you need to upload the key pair that you used when setting up the account so in my case i used pure the file pure that is what i'm going to be uploading decrypt and uh, copy the password email again and paste it in there send of course you can type it out if you'd like but i'm a bit too lazy for that so on our phone let's go back to the app sorry to email open up the email copy whatever we've sent and paste it in the app so far first it's the username so just paste the username there and the next password let's get the password from the email also Paste it in the app. Click on continue. And there we go. We are logged into the VPS from our phone. So from here, you can proceed to uh, remove the EA or disable auto trading. Then you can comfortably close all your trades and uh, you'll be good to go. So if this video was helpful, then uh, leave a like. If you like this kind of content, subscribe and uh, see you next time.